This is Paprika Steen, is that the correct pronunciation? The star of Applause, a new film that is in an Oscar qualifying run now in Los Angeles and will open in New York in Los Angeles on January 21st. Paprika, can you tell us a little bit about how you were drawn to this script and how you received the script? Uh, I had two guys coming to my house because my husband's a producer and he just opened his own company and he found these two guys that were first time director, first time writer and they came with a short movie about a stand-up comedian who had breast cancer and they wanted to tell me about this movie and throughout th this evening that we met we just sat and you know had a good time talking for like hours drinking Coronas you know <laughs> and when the night was over I told them you know whatever wherever this goes I'm fine you I completely trust you you have like the most interesting and good taste and everything so they worked for short this is a short story they worked like for a year in this script and it developed into you know this kind of this movie this applause movie so she's not a stand up comedian and she doesn't have breast cancer and in she's the an in the version and an actress an alcoholic yeah. and an actress so I guess you were surprised when they came back with a completely different script. Yeah, I was, and pretty relieved too. Right. Because, ah, oh, stand-up comedy, faking it, that would be hard. But I would have done it, but I, I was very curious about how we should, you know, how we should get the audience there and, you know, stuff. So it was, um, so I was pretty relieved. <laughs> this character, Thea, um, is hold, barely holding on. And so can you just talk a little bit about how you found, how you found the chops to um, you know do such a raw performance and most of the film is a close-up of your face and and what you're going through so just talk a little bit about your experience in making the film it was a very positive <laughs> shooting and I was I there are a lot of people ask me if I you know prepared myself or how I did this and I I, I actually came out from you know I was I had a a bad so I've been really sick in the summer I don't know I had had something so it looked like you know I was a little heavier my eyes were really like dehydrated and it was like fitted to the part it was right. a, but by coincidence you know um, and um, um, but I don't really <laughs> this is how I act mm -hmm. this is this is this is how I work it's not like very different from what I else I mean of course it's different parts but that is how I do my work I I, I want it to look as as uh, natural as possible. I wanted to look like when Fred Astaire danced or Gene Kelly danced, like you thought they were making the steps up while they, you know, you were watching them. Mm -hmm. um, and so if you've seen my work before, like Celebration, when I was much younger, or even when I do comedy, it's uh, pretty much um, the way I work. It's not different. And I didn't know I had a camera up in my face all the time. I didn't know there was they were doing those <laughs> Close up of me. Uh, when I watched the movie first time, I was like, I'm gonna get seasick of my face, you know, and I, I, I couldn't watch it. But um, luckily, I didn't know. I wasn't that conscious about it. What do you want people to know about this film? <sighs> Hard question. Okay, sorry. That is uh, a very raw but funny and um, true picture of. Uh, a lot of us, you mm -hmm. know, a lot of us with jobs that are like, um, we're like, if you're CEO, actress, or big artist, or have a big job, like, how do you combine the, your, your career with, the social, with your social life, you know, being a housewife or, or husband? Mm -hmm. uh, what happens when that doesn't, you know, when that doesn't go right? What, what happens when you take the wrong choices? Uh, but also, like, for, for everything I do as an artist, I want to make sure that somebody in the audience feels I'm not alone. Right. And this is like, I think you would feel related to this woman or this character, that we all have a piece of her in us. Uh, so go and see it and feel like you're not alone. But then also it's funny. They, she's tough. She says funny things. She does. The tagline is, sometimes life is the hardest performance of all. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? I didn't make that up. Okay. <laughs> I would say toughest or... Not hardest, uh, yeah, because she's a she's a brilliant actress. She's a brilliant, uh, c you know, she she has a brilliant career. She knows how to handle that, but she does not know how to handle life, and she she sort of acts out life, you know, in front of people. She can't she can't relate. She's so isolated, you know. She's so lonely, and uh, 
and the whole mother thing, you know, is just not natural for her. I, I was just about to say, she's incredibly brave because she knows she cannot mother those kids, even though she's desperate to mother the children. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's, she has a big heart. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm sure she has a big heart. This is a very kind of full year with um, great performances by actresses on screen, and um, we're trying to get people to see applause and have you fit in in there. So um, congratulations again on this. And, you know, have you seen any of the other performances this year that people are talking about? Uh, the, the movies haven't been out in Denmark yet, so I watched one, which was out. That was The Kids Are All Right, where I thought, you know, they were brilliant and they were really good. I really liked the movie. Um, um, I liked uh, that Annette Benning in, in that kind of butchery role. I thought it was really interesting, and Mark Ruffalo's sort of laziness of act. I really, I really enjoyed the movie. And you've um, directed also. Yeah, two feature films. Do yeah. you want to direct more? Yeah, I have the right script. Great. Films. You know, it's 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 all about timing. Directing is about timing. Right. Timing for me. Well, great. Thank you so much script. for your time. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you.